So we are fixing high CPU usage by SPP SVC.exe software pr protection platform service. High usage by SPP SVC is a little different from other processes. It occurs in two cases in a genuine Windows copy and in a copy activated with third party applications such as KMS. What need to be noted by user is that if you don't have official Windows, KMS will most likely be running in the background and conflicting with SVP SVC, which is the authentication mechanism present in Windows. So in cases of a genuine Windows copy, it is most likely a bug with third party application and be solved by checking the system in a safe or clean boot. So first solution is to run system maintenance troubleshooter. Press Windows and R key and type control panel. Hit enter. Here in the search box type troubleshoot. When you see the result as troubleshooting, select the troubleshooting from here. From the left pane select view all. Now from this list we need to find system maintenance troubleshooting. So let's launch it and select advanced to see more options. We need to check this apply repairs automatically and click the option to run as administrator. Now click on next. <coughs> it will check for errors and discrepancies in your system and it will notify you if it found any. It will also attempt to repair these errors by itself. If any errors were identified and fixed, we need to restart the computer. If not, then we can move to next solution. Now let's close these windows. Our second solution is to start the windows in safe mode and then clean boot. So we need to check if the process still consumes all of the resources in a safe boot or clean boot. Now let's press windows in our key and type ms config and hit enter. Once you are here, first we go to services and say hide all Microsoft services. Now when the dis all Microsoft services are hidden, click on disable all to disable all the third party services and then click on apply. Now we need to go startup tab and then click on open task manager here select each service one by one and click on disable so that we can disable it when windows start so we disable all the services let's close this window and close this one too now restart your computer and see if SPPSVC is still consuming all the resources or taking high CPU usage. We can also check this by restarting our windows into safe mode. To restart windows in safe mode, right click on start menu and hold shift key. Then click on shutdown or sign out and while holding the shift key click on restart. When you are presented with these options, click on Troubleshoot. In Troubleshoot, click on Advanced Options. In Advanced Options, click on Startup Settings and then click on Restart. Now we need to start Windows in Safe Mode, so we press F4 to enable Safe Mode.
So once the windows is started in the safe mode, check if this SPP SVC is still using high CPU. If it is still if it is still taking high CPU, we can move further with our next steps. But if you see the issue is fixed, then it means there's a third party application which is causing the problems. Uh, to identify which application is causing problem we need to go with all programs which we have installed one by one and see uh, which is the culprit in taking high CPU usage so let's move to our next solution which is to run system file checker from the SFC scan we can have three kind of results one is about Windows didn't find any integrity violation in which case we are good the second case is that it found some corrupt files and repaired them which is also good in our case the third in which it says it found corrupt files but it was unable to fix some or all of them then we need to proceed with another command so to run SFC scan press Windows and R key type TASKMGR when you're here click on file menu and click on run new task put a check on create this task with administrative privilege and type PowerShell here in PowerShell we type SFC space forward slash SCAN and scan now and press enter might take a couple of minutes to get completed uh, we don't need to close this window just wait for the process and see the results alright so SFC scan now is complete and it says it did not find any integrity violations we are okay with this message and if there was a message about that it did found corrupt files and repaired them then we were good now if there was a case when it said that it did found some error but was unable to fix them then we need to type in another command which is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup image space forward slash restore health this will download the corrupt files from the Windows update servers and replace the corrupt ones uh, this process can consume some time according to your internet connection so don't cancel don't cancel it out at any stage if an error was detected and was fixed uh, then we need to restart the computer and check if the processes are started working normally uh, for now we are waiting for this command uh, for the users who got uh, either this the same message that we got that it did not find any violation or if but if there were any found and fixed they need to restart the computer and see if the process is good uh, for the users uh, who got the message that it did find some violations or problems but wasn't able to fix it they need to follow this procedure uh, one step ahead wait for this command and then restart the computer to see if the problem is fixed okay so we are back with the restart um, if the issue uh, you, if you're still facing the issue then our fourth solution is to scan for malware press Windows and S key and type Windows Defender click on Windows Defender Security Center We need to perform a scan. Let's click on advanced scan and select full scan and then click on scan now. This process might take some time as Windows scans all of your computer's file one by one. Be patient and let the process complete accordingly. If there was a malware present on your computer, let the utility remove and restart your computer before launching the task manager. Uh, once the process completes see if the issue is resolved you might 
you can also run Microsoft Safety Scanner since it has the latest virus definition and check if that finds any dependencies. Uh, the link for Microsoft Safety Scanner is given in the description of this video. Let's quickly check that. Let's go here. download this utility from here and scan your computer and see if you find any problems so if you're after scanning the malware and fixing if you still see the process is taking high CPU usage then our fifth solution is to update KMS or disable it press Windows and S key and type task scheduler click on task scheduler from the results expand the task scheduler library and from here we need to open KMS process let's find it so in when you expand task library find KMS and for every application this is planned for disable it close this task scheduler and then see uh, and then reboot your computer and check if the problem at hand got fixed our sixth solution is to disable the service which is SPP SVC press Windows and R key type reg edit and hit enter click yes on USC prompt navigate to HK local machine system current control set services and here find SPP SVC let's see if we got it here there it is now search for the key which says start like this and double click to open it set it value to 4 click OK and then restart your computer see if the problem resolves if not then to stop the services from the services window press windows and R key type services.msc hit enter search for software protection service right click on it and select stop once it is stopped check if the problem has been resolved the seventh solution is to disable the service from scheduler click on start and type task scheduler open task scheduler expand task scheduler library then Microsoft Windows in Windows now here if you find SVC restart task uh, right click on it and disable it if there are other entries present disable each of them and ensure that the service doesn't start again 
reboot your computer and see if the problem got solved. Our 8th solution is to updating latest Windows update. Press Windows and S key. Type Windows update and click on check for updates. If you have some updates already downloaded, you will get a restart now button to update them. If not, then click the check, check for updates button and install all the updates which are available. After updating, restart your computer and check if the issue has been fixed. Our ninth solution is to refresh the windows. Our ninth solution is to refresh the windows. If none of the described methods have worked for you and you are still facing the issue, you can try refreshing your windows with a fresh copy or you can restore your windows to an earlier point where if, if you had um, made any or if it was configured and where the problem wasn't there. So if you do not have any checkpoint available, you will need to install a new copy of Windows after backing up all of your data. If you do have a checkpoint menu, type restore, click on create a restore point, click on system restore, click next and you can select any prior date, any, any date in the past. Uh, where you have created this checkpoint and click next to proceed to restore this checkpoint if you don't have a, if you don't have any checkpoint you will need to refresh or reinstall a fresh copy of your windows after backing up your data after the update of 1709 it seems that Microsoft eventually caught up with the KMS software the high CPU or disk usage by software protection will not go away if you are using KMS software until any further releases are developed by the KMS software developers targeting this. Until then, there are no workarounds but to either purchase a genuine copy of Windows or roll back to any version before 1709. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.